here we are sitting with the each with a cup of tea. Hey. Tea? No. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> hot chocolate. If you want to see us making this hot chocolate, then just wait and just continue watching. But if you want to see when we are telling about the most embarrassing stories right away without even waiting a minute more, then click on that link there. Just click on that the poster there. A poster, yes, yeah. yeah. It's right one, it's one here. Yeah. Click on it. Yeah. yeah. So, what you need is milk, um, cast sugar, and cocoa powder, and of course, two cups, and um, um, like measurements and spoons. Yay! <laughs> so you pour a little bit of milk into the cups. I would say probably about two deciliters or uh, seven fluid ounces in the cups. That's maybe right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you use two tablespoons of caster sugar. Oh, you can also use water instead of milk. Just so you know. But milk is good for you. And two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So look at that lovely cocoa powder texture on top. When you have done that, you will stir it. And when you heat this up later, you can do this in two different ways. Either you can do it on the stove, or you can do it in the microwave, and we will do it in the microwave. <laughs> because it's the fastest way, and we, will, we want to be done very quickly. Sorry guys, <laughs> we're cheating today. So, when it looks kind of a little bit stirred, um, you take it in the uh, microwave in full effect for two minutes. Or put it on the stove. You should not put the cups not on over. the stove. <laughs> so... See you soon! Now it's been there for two minutes. So it's time to take it out and stir it around again. And then it's done! Ta -da! Yay! Now that wasn't too hard, was it? You can have whatever you want with uh, your hot chocolate, like whipped cream or mini marshmallows. But we're, we're just gonna have it just plain. La natural. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon! Bye! Bye! Now that was yummy, wasn't it? And easy. Yeah, so easy and so yummy. So let's start with our embarrassing stories. Yeah. I've tried to like remember a lot of embarrassing stories, but um, embarrassing, embarrassing stories happened all the time. Because my mom is kind of like, if we are uh, in a store or something, she is not scared about saying things out loud. Like, Emma, Emma, did you want those uh, period pads? They are right here. They are right here, Emma. So, <laughs> I have too many embarrassing stories to even remembering them. So I only have one embarrassing story to re really tell. Some. 
since you have more stories, then yeah. maybe you should start with one story. Yeah, well, as Emma said, I have a lot of embarrassing stories, so picking um, like a lot of them out was pretty easy. Um, but oh, I, by the way, uh, we have written all the stories here, so either way, either you can just wait and look at all of them by just continue watching, or click on the story to to hear just that particular story. Yeah, well, I have four stories to share with you. And one is when I was going with my brother and my dad to the northern part of Sweden. And it was morning and I was tired because we left pretty early. And I looked out at the woods, uh, which we passed, and I saw an ugly horse. The ugliest horse I've ever seen. In my entire life so of course I said what an ugly horse and that's what they said that's not a horse Sandra it's, it's a, a moose. moose and that was pretty embarrassing I'm still here today <laughs> even though I'm that was like a long time ago it was like 10 years ago and I still hear it today <laughs> so yeah that was a pretty embarrassing story um, <laughs> And uh, one story that is not embarrassing then, that it wasn't embarrassing then, but thinking back to, uh, to it is pretty embarrassing. And that was when uh, my best friend um, and I, we were like nine years old or something, we were pretty unpopular in school, but we didn't care about that that much, uh, really. So, um... They had each other. Yeah, that that helped, but it was so it's so embarrassing. We every um, recess that we had in school, we went to the swing and we started singing out loud and screaming things <laughs> and all the stuff we can think about and like stories. We were closing our eyes and imagining stories that we shouted out. <laughs> And it was all you are to yeah. do. <laughs> and people were like, shut up! And we were like, no! <laughs> not going to happen! And we continued screaming and shouting and... <laughs> that, that is pretty embarrassing today. Not back then, but today. <laughs> I thought it kind of sounded really cool. <laughs> okay, um, should I jump in with one, one yeah, of my stories? Do. Just okay. Like, as I said, I have too many embarrassing moments to even remembering them. But I have one that I really remember. Um, I was not even e either like one of the popular girls in school. I was not, no, I wasn't even. I was, I was not really bullied either. I was kind of in the middle somewhere, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Yeah, ever since I was a kid, I have really loved, you know, those gloves that they doesn't really have any fingers. And this story is about these gloves. I really loved them. They had they had a nice color, I thought, and and they had no fingers, and I loved them. Like I still have them for some reason. I had got them from my big sister. Had them when she was small as well. So I really loved them, and it was winter and really cold, and even though it was really cold, I really wanted these gloves and no other. So when I was going to school, uh, my mom was like, take real gloves now, because it's now it's really cold. And I was like, yeah, 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 I will, but I did not. I accidentally forgot to take those gloves and took these instead <laughs> and went to school. In the middle of the class, Suddenly it was banging on the door and my mom came in, into the classroom, where the whole class were and was like, Mama, you forgot your gloves! You have to have these gloves! <laughs> that was an embarrassing moment for me. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, so, um... I would just use them for the rest of the test we're telling. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, when uh, I 
It was, uh, by the way, it was when I was uh, in like third grade or fourth grade, so I was like... How old are you in third or fourth grade? Nine or ten. Yeah, I was like nine or ten. Come yeah. On. Well, anyways, uh, you, you know the feeling when you really like someone, like a guy or a girl? Um, you really don't want to do something embarrassing in front of them. You really don't. And I was trying to be so, um, like smooth and not... Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I just, like, I got a haircut at his, uh brother's girlfriend's home, which is also my m mother's friend. Yeah, it's complicated. Anyways, he was there and I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. What am I supposed to do? And then I was walking home and there were these um, tools there and I tripped. <laughs> I tripped and I was like, oh my god, he saw that. Oh shoot. Oh my, I can never show my face again. You know, the embarrassing feeling that you get when you've done something embarrassing in front of a person you like. Yeah. But that was a while ago. Uh, I sort of forgot about it. But, uh, yeah. Go on and laugh about it. That's what I do. That's what she did and, right now. Yeah. <laughs> and also one embarrassing story is... Um, when I was walking home from school, I got like, I don't know if it was a piece of paper that they graded or something that I didn't have time to check because you got it like just before you went home or something. I can't remember really. But anyway, so I was reading those and then I walked straight into a lamppost. <laughs> and I was like, did someone see that? Okay, good. And moved on. <laughs> And, I mean, I've done it several times. I mean, not really, just that one time. It happened one time too, when I didn't have something <laughs> in front of my face. I just went straight into a lamppost. <laughs> and that time it was a little bit worse because there, was pe there were people around saying <laughs> that and they were looking at me like I was a, some sort of an idiot. <laughs> that might have been true, I mean. I didn't have anything in front of my face, so I should have seen the lamppost in front of me, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, those are my embarrassing stories. I hope you like them and and then you can laugh, too. With, laugh with us. Yeah, and add us whatever. <laughs> um, do you have any embarrassing stories you want to share? Just write a comment in below. We want to read all your stories. Yeah. So I won't feel less alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this is it. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wait, 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 don't go. I have an announcement to make and um, some of you already know that I've been trying to go get over to America uh, to be with my fiancé and now I finally got my visa approved so on March the 8th I will move over to America which means making movies with my sister will be very difficult but I will still be making movies uh, videos that you can watch um, but yeah, it will be very difficult to do with the, with my sister. So, um, it's kind of sad, um, leaving everything behind. I mean, I have all my friends here, my family's here, my cats are here. And it will be sad leaving them, but at the same time, I'm also very glad and happy to go over to America so I can be with my fiancé. Um, so yeah, very <laughs> mixed feelings about this. Um, but yeah. So that was my announcement. So I hope you liked this video and um, comment and, and like. <laughs> um, yeah. Bye.